Hey everyone, have you guys ever wondered why bankers are so sad? It's because they always drink alone. <laughs> All right guys, so this is a special video about Cello in tandem with the Grameen Foundation. And you know, I just finished a book uh, right here. It's called Banker to the Poor. And it was written by Muhammad Yunus. I actually read it because Charles Hoskinson talked about it. And you know, he's a big inspiration to me and I highly recommend you guys check this out. I'll make sure to leave a link below. So, you know, I won't make this a book club, but I will briefly talk about it. So specifically, I want to talk about micro lending and building out to those who are more poor than us and who don't have a lot of financial prosperity. So I'm sure a lot of us are aware of a lot of the poverty issues across the world and Cello and Grameen are looking to close this gap. Um, so I'm really excited for this, to be honest, guys. Um, this was announced last year. And something to know is, in this video is it's not financial advice, but if you guys want to see more awesome crypto content, please be sure to subscribe. All right, guys, so I'm going to give the cliff notes of this book. And uh, back in school, I always used to read the cliff notes without actually uh, reading the book. Sometimes I did well, sometimes I didn't, but I highly recommend you check out this book. So, you know, the book, there's a large number of rural poor in Bangladesh and, you know, they're not included in the financial system. And, and with that, microcredit aims to solve those issues. Um, you know, it's focusing a lot on community development, group borrowing, and having these consistent meetings amongst the team members to ensure all the loans are able to be repaid in full. So, you know, it, it was really cool to see how Bangladesh was able to adopt and solve a lot of their financial problems through this type of system. Now, eventually Grameen grew to several billion dollars in assets. They, they are one of the biggest micro lenders in the world now and they have millions in revenue. And uh, one of the coolest things too is the majority of it is owned by the borrowers. So often today's you have like shareholders or stuff like that own the company. Here the borrowers own it. So they're, it's in their best interest to ensure other borrowers end up repaying. So it's not like just a whole bunch of like rich investors on their yachts, collecting dividends. It's just normal people like you and me that are trying to help uh, bridge and improve financial prosperity for all. And that is super exciting. All right, enough rambling, Paul. I don't care about the book. I wanna know about Cello. So Grameen is actually the founding member of Cello's Foundation Alliance for Prosperity. And the cool thing about this is they are both working in tandem on an initiative to bridge this gap between people who have access to financial services and those who do not. So what, what's the main goal of Cello? What's the main goal of Grameen? So the, the main goal of this alliance um, per se is to empower and enable more people to use digital currencies across the border. And uh, there's 5.6 billion people at this time that have cell phones. So there's a huge upward potential with Cello's reach to help um, uh, give the goals of the Grameen Foundation, providing microcredit and loans to the poor, but also helping to cause transactions amongst all individuals. All right, so this alliance is great. I really love it. But the problem is this. There's many people in the world that have issues acquiring stable coins. So there needs to be more apps and on and off ramps for individuals who want these stable coins. So, you know, this, this is one of the big pushes that the Alliance is actually aiming to solve. I'll list all the partners here, but all these partners are helping to bridge that gap. So the cool thing is the larger the Alliance, the larger the reach across all the populations and countries and all this stuff. So we want the Alliance to grow as much. And, as we're seeing now, the alliance strength is there. I'm gonna also put up another graph. There's like several dozen members of this alliance and they contribute to the Cello mission with the Grameen vision at the same time. So there's countless tools going on and it allows people to build, to earn, to give and grow and lend and all this cool stuff. And I am just blown away by this ecosystem I hope that it is being put into use to its full extent. I know with all these partnerships, I'm sure it's a lot to manage, but it's very exciting to see this robust ecosystem built out with the Alliance for Prosperity, both helping the Grameen vision of enabling microcredit and making sure that everyone has access to credit in the world, but also using and leveraging Cello's ability to uh, provide payments with their cell phone. And I think, you know, with this dual prong approach, we're going to see tremendous, tremendous growth. Guys, I'm going to bring it full circle right here. 
Grameen knows what to do. Microcredit, it really should be a human right, not a privilege if you live in a first world country. You know, bridging the divide from those who have access to financial tools and those who don't, those who are well capitalized and those who aren't, it really is a breath of fresh air. And I get it. There's a lot of crypto projects making ambitious claims about how they're gonna provide financial inclusion for all, these vast operating systems. But really, we need um, something like Celo who actually is forming these partnerships and who's actually working in these countries to roll it out and move it forward. And, you know, yeah, Bitcoin, trust me, I love Bitcoin, I'm a big Bitcoiner, but like, are, are we seeing a lot of ambassadors go to all these countries and help roll people on? We are a little bit, but we need more movement and Celo is actually, that's where I think it's differentiated. So I'm very excited to see how this alliance works. You know, in my opinion, in the long run, I can see a lot of this having very positive price potential for Celo due to this alliance alone. I mean, there's a lot of other activities going on in the Celo ecosystem, but here it's really pushing it forward to the next level. And we don't want, you know, just individuals trying to get rich on themselves. No, Celo is trying to bridge it across all smartphone users, and that is really exciting to see. Guys, I am very excited to see how this alliance is gonna work out in the long run. I truly am. You know, with this partnership with Grameen Foundation and Celo, if they continuously uh, include more on and off ramps, work with different partners around the world, there's no limit to where Celo can go. I mean, I can see Celo one day, one day, several years in the future, getting to you know a $10 price point, $20 price point, uh, as long as they are consistently rolling it across smartphone users, getting them to use the stable coins and enriching the network. And I am very excited for this. I am just blown away by this. This is probably the most well-established partnership um, ecosystem I've seen next to like Polkadot and Chainlink. So very cool stuff. Guys, I really appreciated all your time. Uh, please be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, like. It means a lot to me. I love putting these together. And there's so much good crypto content coming in the near future. And I can't wait to show it to all of you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and week. And have a good one.